The owl is a powerful symbol of the elite. The owl is, I guess you could say, the mascot of the sorcerers. It is the animal most identified with consciousness that is aware, yet is using that knowledge to suppress those who are not in the know. And we see it most um, widely used in the Bohemian Club. This is a organization of elite occultists that meet once a year in the uh, Redwood Grove, uh, about 70 miles north of San Francisco. And they have rituals in this grove that are actually derived from ancient Babylonian ceremonies. And they have a stone owl there that represents an Ammonite. Uh, God that was uh, children were often sacrificed and immolated to this God. This God's name was Molech or Moloch, and the uh, it was often depicted as a bull God. The owl kind of um, has been used to uh, uh, as a symbol symbolic representation of this bull because the bull has the two horns like a horned owl does and it can be seen as either a bull or an owl in the in the Babylonian tradition it was more frequently represented as a bull but it was also seen as an owl because it represents the immolation of a specific aspect of consciousness and that is the feminine aspect of consciousness so what, what the ritual entails, if you really understand its, its deep symbolic significance, which many do not, and they will say, oh, it's just a harmless ritual by men who are acting out psychodrama. It's, it's nothing of the kind. It's, a, it's, it's an extremely subversive ritual against the, 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 the feminine aspect of consciousness, and here's how it works. Uh, they, they, they have this owl that they're going to have a ritual before and they take an effigy of a child and they float it upon the water you see here the the dark aspect of the hermetic principle being conveyed here the as above so below aspect uh, in the reflecting pool as above so below and they float this effigy of uh, an infant out into the water where they set it ablaze and they immolate it to this owl. What this represents is the immolation of the inner child. That's what the elites are actually doing in this ceremony. They're telling people subconsciously to annihilate your emotion, annihilate your care for what you are doing in the world. So the ritual itself, the name of the ritual carries its meaning. The ritual is called the cremation of care. That is exactly what those who are participating in this are doing. They are immolating the inner sacred feminine child of consciousness. Care is what's being burned. So they're saying that dull care is the enemy. Your care for what you do to others is the enemy. It needs to be eradicated. So you can use your power of will to do anything that you want to do regardless of the consequences that it means for other people. If you immolate your emotion, you will be more able to do that effectively without emotions getting in the way. And that's why they burn the effigy of that infant. Anybody that says that that is not what the ritual is about does not understand the deep symbolic connotations of that ritual and the derivation of where that ritual came from. And it, it does indeed come from ancient Babylon, Babylonian rites, specifically the rites of the Ammonites, which were a dark, uh, basically a satanic cult, the worshippers of the gods of chaos. Molech being one of them, the devourer of the sacred child, the feminine care principle. But that is the owl. We see it encoded very covertly because the owl is a, a predatory bird that can see its prey at night from a higher perspective when its prey cannot see it. So it is easy to remain hidden and then attack 
when it wishes to, to pounce upon its prey. And, and its prey is in the dark. So it's in the know, its prey is in the dark. A perfect symbol for a sorcerer wishing to yield occult knowledge against those who are in ignorance. We see it very covertly displayed on the shield, on the uh, upper right hand side, on the front of the one dollar bill up in the corner. Clearly though, when blown up, you can see that it is indeed a small owl peeking out from the corner. It is encoded in architecture. This is Commerce Square. Commerce Square. The financial system and the square, the symbol of base consciousness combined. And the two owls, the double owl, uh, if you look at these uh, in another uh, different aspect, you'll see that there are actually wings down at their sides as well. This is on 21st and Market Street in Philadelphia. And um, this is the Frost Bank building in Austin, Texas. Clearly, from the corner angle an owl, it looks even more convincingly uh, uh, as an owl when it is illuminated at night. And it is even more appropriate, and that brings us to the torch of illumination.